The genre of zombie survival horror has been an integral part of the gaming industry since Resident Evil made it popular over two and a half decades ago. With the huge number of titles that have come out since then, it can be difficult to keep track of the amazing games to pick from. Jesus, stay back! However, Metacritic ratings are always there to save the day when it comes to game debates, as it's a reliable source to determine the success of a game, especially because these ratings are determined by a large number of reviewers from many platforms, and also by thousands of gamers who give their opinions based on their own experience. It's not a surprise that the Resident Evil series have been well received by critics, with some titles even achieving the highest ratings. But the genre is so crowded, and there are other franchises that are highly rated, despite having different storytelling and gaming styles. In this video, we are going to feature the best 10 zombie survival games of all time, based on the ratings of Metacritic users. We might disagree with the rankings, but most of us will definitely agree that these 10 titles deserve to be on the list. The first two installments of the Dead Rising series have garnered a great deal of fan appreciation for their zombie survival horror gaming experience. Although the second game achieved a marginally better rating, what really sets these games apart is the additional content and the replayability they offer. The zombie's defeat is achieved through the use of unconventional weaponry, making the playing experience unique and entertaining each time. Moreover, the compelling plotlines and additional missions provide hours of amusement, with a plentiful supply of tasks to undertake. Let's go. <laughs> Something much more sinister. <laughs> John Marston ties up his beloved and heads out looking for a cure. Undead Nightmare is a new single player story, and players will recognize some familiar faces for sure. First hell walks the earth, then you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Fans of horror who adored the Wild West themed game Red Dead Redemption were delighted when Rockstar unleashed the Undead Nightmare add-on. Critics also praised it, with a Metacritic rating of 8.2. The expansion provides a completely new experience to the already highly acclaimed game. In this revamped version of the original tale, John Marston returns and his family is now stricken with an illness that transforms them into zombies. Consequently, he embarks on a mission to find the cure, but must battle against the swarms of the undead. Rockstar not only incorporated zombies, but they also improved the visual aspect of the game, altering the colors and illumination to give players an entirely novel experience. Metacritic users have given the enhanced edition of Dying Light an impressive 8.3 rating. This version of the game features upgraded graphics and new gameplay elements, including the ability to run over zombies with a dune buggy. There is a lot to enjoy in this game.
This zombie survival game is an exciting experience. It is a first-person horror that involves running and jumping through the environment, and you have access to awesome weapons. When the night arrives in the game, the real fear begins as that is when the monstrous creatures come out to attack. Attention everyone, this is Brecken. If anyone sees Dawood, get him back to the tower ASAP. He's got a gun. I repeat, he's got a gun. He winged a guard on his way out. Oh no. Fallon, it's me. I'm near the cafe. Anything I should know? It is not unexpected that The Walking Dead, which is a comic book and TV series, has become a successful video game franchise. What is remarkable, though, is the exceptional quality of this game. Unlike many video games based on other properties, this one is actually superior to the original source. I can't read. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. The Walking Dead, a Telltale game series, brings fresh faces and a new location to the franchise's universe. This zombie survival game is well-loved because of its moving story, which gamers can shape through their decisions. It kinda makes you feel like you're inside a movie that you can control its scenario and events. So this title definitely deserves to be on this list. Here, give it here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Clem. Before Left 4 Dead arrived, players never had the opportunity to experience a real feeling of power in a survival horror game. This made the game's release a highly important event. In the game, four main characters are visible and the objective is to survive the swarms of zombies until they reach a safe place. The first-person perspective of Left 4 Dead provides an immersive experience, making it seem like players are actually in the battle. The gameplay is straightforward, which makes it simple to comprehend, although there is still a great challenge in battling hordes of zombies. Reloading. <laughs> We still got guns. We're gonna fight. The release of the sequel to Left 4 Dead arrived when the genre of first person shooter games was at its most popular. Consequently, both reviewers and players were thrilled that the new version retained the same four-person team idea as the original, while also featuring the same control mechanics. This time, the emphasis on cooperative play is higher, with multiplayer clashes offering more content to motivate players to collaborate with one another. This game has caused some debate due to its fierce violence, 
though admirers of Left for Dead 2 only appreciated the no restrictions environment it created. Dead Space 2 is an action game from a third-person perspective that takes place in an orbital station that circles one of Saturn's satellites. In this scenario, gamers must fight against necromorphs. These creatures are alien zombies that are equipped with heightened senses and a higher level of intelligence, making it difficult for players to stay one step ahead. Critiques of the game were generally positive, commending its inclusion of features like the heads-up display, which allows for tracking of enemies, the capability of temporarily decelerating time, and the ability to pass by obstacles without having to interact with them. Even people who aren't usually scared of horror games found it to be a frightening experience as they fight to stay alive. Stay back, sir. I got this. What the? People have been debating the pros and cons of the Resident Evil 2 remake in comparison to the original. However, the general consensus has been that the remake is an improvement. The feeling of being in Raccoon City with Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield is much more intense due to the third-person camera view that has been used. One of the most acclaimed aspects of the game is the fact that it offers two distinct scenarios, where the characters Leon and Claire can switch and thus bring two distinct playthroughs. This unpredictability of which zombies will show up and which surprises the story has in store makes it an unforgettable experience. out there once upon a time I had somebody that I cared about and in this world that sort of shit's good for one thing getting you killed prior to the launch of the last of us it appeared as though the zombie horror category had no more surprises to offer instead of the customary focus on gameplay this game had an increased emphasis on its storyline with Joel and Ellie's relationship causing gamers to develop a bond with the characters that few other titles in the genre had ever achieved. What do we do? You make every shot count. You see, I believe everything happens for a reason. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? In the game, the levels were created in such a way that players had to look out for either Joel or Ellie, which highlighted how significant they were to the plot. 
The undead were made to seem more like a real peril than an inconvenience, as gamers had to struggle to remain alive while dealing with zombies that could kill in a single hit, and others that were incredibly resilient. organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornell, why am I the one who always gets the short end of this stick? You, who are you really? Come on and tell us. Resident Evil 4 is an unprecedented game within the horror category. It is undeniable that this installment of the series had an immense influence on the third-person gaming industry. At the time of its release, players were not used to the behind-the-shoulder perspective, something that is now commonplace as almost every third-person game has adopted this feature. <laughs> Additionally, Resident Evil 4 was an experience of survival that provided gamers an impression of being in charge, as Leon S. Kennedy had a wide range of weapons to select from and was a good fighter too. Critics also appreciated the creative interpretation of zombies, with the opponents here exhibiting the behavior of the undead due to the spread of a virus. So basically, this game was not only fun or impressive, but it was a revolutionary project that impacted the whole genre to this day. And the upcoming remake of the game will be an amazing chance to remember this masterpiece after 18 years of its release. With the end of today's video, we hope that it gave you a good idea of the best zombie survival games out there. And as I said before, some of us might disagree with the rankings and prefer certain games over others, but I think the vast majority of people can agree that these 10 games are among the most loved titles in the genre. Hopefully in future videos we will be featuring other genres too. Until then, stay safe.